Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters, Scotty DTV, but I was on the 2022 Detroit Auto Ram and I came across this very cool 1951 Studebaker pickup truck I think y'all are gonna like. Let me get the camera turn around and take a quick look at it. Rocky, how are you, brother? Doing great. Back at Detroit after a little bit of time off and it feels good. Right on. Well, I appreciate you giving me some time tonight to so, tell me a little bit about this truck. Absolutely, yeah. It's, it's a special project that uh, um, has, we've had a lot of help with it. Uh, everybody at the shop, uh, the, the the 11 guys and gals that work at the shop at US 12 uh, put in a lot of time on this thing, so glad you like it. Tell me what you did. So um, the, the, the truck came to us uh, it, it, as a project that was started and it never got finished, so we went through the whole truck and straightened out some issues and uh, um, uh, just put our own twist and touch to it. So everything from some fabrication work to changing up the stance, the front end, um, the overall look of the truck and then down to paint and body work and finish work so it's not because obviously this just people that are listening this truck started out at a different shop and then the person that was doing that died yeah yeah so, so so then that's so when it showed up to you it was already a project under construction yeah absolutely so, so people can kind of understand where we're coming from on sure. this it wasn't a studebaker truck stock when it was brought to you yeah absolutely. there was already a bunch no, of work no, done it to was, it it was a, it was a hot rod that sat on a uh, c6 corvette chassis drive line and um the gentleman that started the project his name was gene pierce he was uh, been a hot rodder his whole life and he had the vision of doing something uh, out of the box and, and cool like that nobody sees before so it's hard to make a studebaker look good they're right. kind of ugly to begin don't be with but, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. You know, like internationals or right. whatever you don't see a whole lot of them but that's one thing that kind of turned us on and it was a challenge to try and make that thing look cool so um, we we kind of wanted to honor what his vision was and put our own twist on it so uh, when it came to us it had a Nash Rambler grill and front end on it and uh, just didn't quite fit what we like to build so we we, uh, we went out and tried to find a timeless um, classic grill which we used a 49 Ford grill and cut that and modified it and made it fit in, a, in our opening and and uh, I think it looks pretty cool so yeah. well how did its truck fit on that you said it was a Corvette chassis at time yeah right? yeah yeah so did so, this fit right on or no, no 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 absolutely not oh uh, we had to shorten uh, the bed the overall length of the wheelbase uh, by six inches and um, kind of made the truck a little bit more proportional and then uh, each fender got widened for almost four inches on each side so um, you know the, the truck we named it Bertha because it's 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 got a big ass right. it's awful wide but <laughs> but that's what's cool about it it's just so wild looking and um, no, it is. It's absolutely gorgeous truck, man. I love it. I love the wheels. What are they? Yeah, so the, the wheels are actually the um, uh, 2012 Grand Sport vet wheels that we uh, uh, smoothed up and, and, and painted the uh, the matte bronze. Dude, and, they work. Man. And uh, it, it just kind of cool to you know. Well, use and the nice that thing is, is you got the you got the drive line from the vet anyhow. So right. right. Once you know the story of the truck, then you look at the wheels. You're like, that's perfect that they work that well. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They, they don't look like stock wheels. They look like that's a wheel you chose for that truck. Yeah, and it worked out nice because they, they let let GM engineer that stuff right, right. And, and use the good parts off. Right. Of, you know. What color so, is it? So the um, the exterior of the truck is a. 2017 Ford truck Megma red but we left one of the toners out of that color to make it uh, a little bit more vibrant and not it's so brownish yeah, yeah yeah so um, there's about seven toners in that color and we just uh, left one of them out we liked the way that it looked a little better so what about the other colors what the, are they? the other colors is uh, um, my painter will uh, Haley at the shop he custom mixed a it was started off as a Corvette color a 2021 Corvette color and he tweaked that a little bit too so it's kind of nice to have a um, actual Corvette color as part of the, the the paint scheme on the truck so yeah right it tipped uh, uh, again the yeah. basis of the truck yeah. and that bed there's a ton of work in that bed, oh my right? gosh ton of, ton of work in that bed. <laughs> yeah, it, right? yeah it's been all smoothed out didn't show you the operation but there's a sliding tonneau cover that's on uh, um, on uh, cylinders and, and then uh, yeah it's pretty cool there's there's bed pockets made inside and LEDs and all kinds of crazy stuff back there so but uh, what about interior uh, interior our, our buddies uh, over at Vols upholstery Harold and Mike uh, 
hooked us up on an awesome interior, um, which the owner had a little bit of uh, input on the color combination and and kind of some patterns on the door panels and stuff like that. So it was nice to be able to use a little bit of his creativity also. Um, he hasn't seen this truck since we've had paint on it. He's oh, given us wow. our artistic uh, he, ability he on it. In? He's coming in Saturday morning and he is freaking out. So I would think. He doesn't know what we've done with the wheels. The, so he the can't be on color. the internet either though. Uh, oh no, no, we've kept this under wraps. No, for, I'm saying like right now, Detroit's going to be blowing up in the morning with pictures. Oh, that, that's, so okay. Like, I, that's okay. That's okay. Tell him, like, yeah. you know, turn off your computer until you get here. <laughs> no, that, yeah. that's all right. Because uh, seeing it on TV is a little bit different than seeing it in person. So sure enough. I know he's going to be excited, and we're really uh, blessed that the customers let us actually uh, trust us enough to uh, allow us to throw our freedoms in there. So No, brother, it cool. turned out, man. They, so, they made a good decision in letting you do it. Thank you. I tell, thank you. I tell people it takes taste, talent, and money to yeah. have a car turn out, and yeah. obviously you got all three going on there. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Any details about the truck that I might be overlooking or I'm, I'm not aware of? Um, n No. Everywhere you look on the truck, there's, there's cool little accents and details. Uh, there was a original style hood that was used, cut up and used to make the engine covers and surrounds, and Billy D that works at the shop, my master fabricator, airbrush artist, uh, did a lot of um, um, hand painting accents uh, under the hood, inside, uh, all over the truck. Um, so I, I got to give him props. I got to give all my guys and girls props because uh, it, it takes everybody to do it. And, That's and right. Couldn't couldn't do it without them. So again, brother, thanks for giving me some time today. And I can't oh. tell you that truck. Uh, good luck on a great eight because that truck oh, really man. turned out, man. Yeah, that's we've been chasing that stupid flag for 12 years. So that's a it's that's a hard a one to get. Yeah. And I tell people, you know, when you come into Detroit, because you get confused and people say I'm going after the Riddler, and I'm like, you ain't going after the Riddler. <laughs> You'd be lucky to get a great eight. Yeah, oh, so we, if, we'd be ecstatic. Yeah, with that, if you so. can get a great eight, and then sure enough, there's going to be one person that's going to get the Riddler. But yep, if you yep. can getting that target eight there's oh, your first step absolutely. right absolutely so yeah we've had a we've had a budget to work with on the vehicle that's kind of held us back from going sure totally enough. crazy but but we're proud to say you know that that we've had to that we did what we did with that budget so and it, it's hanging with anybody here so i right on. no i think so too a search yeah. made had everybody talking today when it came in you see that cedar baker truck <laughs> so right on i've been walking by and looking at it and man again thanks for giving me time Rocky. yeah scotty it, thank you man yep so so there you go from the 2022 Detroit Autorama, a very cool 1951 Studebaker pickup truck. Bertha, hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.